So this is the second part in my series in doing abdominal crunches for down dogs. Chelsea is a dog that's got a ruptured disc in her neck, so she has real severe difficulty standing up and walking. It's always nice to have a dog with a handle on them. Um, and so one of the things you always think about when you're working with a down dog is core. You just want abs, abs, abs of steel because having really strong abs helps them get up again. Um, and now she's walking, but with difficulty. So to do crunches with a dog standing, think about doing a sit-up. So you're doing a sit-up to your knee, coming back. Sit-up to your <laughs> hip, coming back. <laughs> sit-up to your tail, coming back. So you're just working core like crazy and hopefully your, <laughs> your student doesn't leave. So what you wanna do is you wanna take a treat, high value, and let your student know that you have it and we're gonna do a crunch back to her knee. And this is gonna be hard for her because she's weak. And then you're gonna take her back to the center and do another crunch. Come here, Chelsea. Crunch, 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 back to her knee again if she can. What you wanna do, if I can get her to do it, back to center, so you always straighten them out. Take a treat, come on, to her hip. That's too hard for her. There we go. So you wanna think of hitting the knee, the hip, the tail, the ankle, the foot, and always going back to center. And when you're done with this, always switch to the other side because you don't want them to be uneven. So treat, I know, this is much harder for her. Her left side is where her injury is. So she has a lot harder time coming to this side. Always bring back to the center again. Let's see if I can get her to go any farther. Is that too hard? Chelsea. Come on. Yeah, so this is her weak side. But your goal eventually is to get her back to the hip and the tail and the knee on this side. So you really are working that core. I'm Leslie Gallagher. Thanks for watching.